All right, y'all, we're gonna go through a video tour of Rhoda. We finally call our fifth wheel Rhoda. I'm entering in through the back door in the toy hauler area. Um, this is the part of the voltage that people have the most interest in because they're just super curious about everything that we did back here. Um, we basically took out everything that kind of made it a toy hauler. So there are no longer anchors and things like that to uh, hold dirt bikes or ATVs or anything like that. Um, we truly made it a residential area. We did an upgrade on this wall and changed it over to a faux brick. Everything has been completely painted. We put in a, the door originally had a glass panel door, super heavy, obnoxious, and let a lot of light in when we were trying to sleep. So we put in a solid door there. Um, we've upgraded all of the blinds in here to these awesome, I love these blinds. They're, I don't I never know how to pronounce that. Levelor, I think is how you say it. Um, and they're fabulous. They're just a push up and gently pull down and they come down. So we've upgraded some lighting here. Um, this is a light that we added in and behind that uh, little Columbia Inn sign there's like outlets and such for here I'll just take it down so you can see there's outlets and such if you wanted to say like for example my husband's desk was here this is where he worked and so we had a desk back here and he had his monitor and everything on this back wall you could also mount uh, a TV there's it's securely reinforced back there for mounting. We made sure to do that before we put that wall in. So, and then we've added throughout the RV, you'll find these nice birchwood hooks that I added just for different places to hang things, whether it be a tote bag or, you know, dog leash, whatever. So, and then we added in these sheer, this is a sheer white curtain. But if you pull these back, this is a screen. It's hard to see. I'm going to try to wiggle it so you can see it. There's a full screen that goes top to bottom, so you're not going to have flies and mosquitoes and such in. And today there's just a lovely breeze in Minnesota, so there's just a breeze flowing through here. But when you are on the outside looking in, you really can't see through those unless it was full on light in here and it's dark outside. But people really can't see, so it's kind of nice because it adds an element of privacy when you're on the inside during the day and um, yeah. So we also got, this is from Interior Define. It's an awesome vintage looking rug. It's not vintage, it's new, but vintage looking. I love this rug. It will be included in the sale of the RV. And I wanted to show you, let me lift this rug up, what we did under here. So you'll find that there are three of these. We still have the leg legs for them so there was a, a table that you could set up in here we kept the legs we got rid of the table itself we just wanted in the future our plan was to do kind of a, a really cool live edge table that we could set up back here if we wanted to you know play games or whatever but there's plenty of room back here these chairs also can go back here on the rug area. We left them there and we just lowered the bed to right above the chairs. We never moved them. It's an option to leave them under the bed and I'll show you how the bed mechanism works. The chairs will be included in the sale of the Voltage because they're so perfect for it. If you don't want them, just let us know, but um, they're really awesome for it. And I'm gonna lower the bed to show you what that looks like. Or I'm gonna raise it up whichever I figure out here. You'll see it fully clears all the blinds. Um, everything functions perfectly. You never have to worry about that. Um, we currently have a queen mattress in here, which will not be included. This will just come with the bed frame on the Happy Jacks, but there will not be a mattress included, but you can lower this bed any position really uh, you can do it at varying positions I liked having a little step stool beside the bed just made it a little bit more convenient but you can get into it once it is fully lowered um, 
but like I said, I liked having a step stool because it's a little higher than probably a residential bed would be. And then up here, see if I can turn the camera over. We installed a TV up there, it's mounted. This will be included. Um, the hats will not. I just wanted to show you that I had a couple more of those birchwood hooks up there and I, it's just a great place to hang your hats. Um, the hats will be going with me. So that's a really great spot. I We would lay back here and watch movies or something like that. So that's why we chose to mount a TV up there. It is securely mounted. Like I said, you don't ever have to take it down while driving. Uh, just part of it. So now we're going to enter into the main living area through the door. This still, like after all the time we've been living in here, I still get a little bit wowed by the voltage. It's, um, when we, first time we walked in it, we just saw a lot of potential for being able to live full time. So one of the things you can see, we've done complete upgrades throughout. Um, it was professionally painted, primed and painted. We prepared the voltage for that, but we did have it professionally done. We left the wood colored cabinetry and stuff like that in the kitchen in the living area alone. We just thought it looked added some warmth and it was a nice touch, so we left it. We did do upgraded residential lighting, adds it just a little bit of a modern flair. We added in these shelves and took out the largely obnoxious ones that were there, so you just get a little bit more openness. Any shelving mounted on the walls will be included. Uh, the, the decoration for staging will be ours, but uh, you know, the shelving and such will be included. So I am gonna leave that handy dandy fruit bag because it's so perfect for right there. So we're, that will be left in here. And then we also installed this great knife rack. Seriously, you guys, we had our knives every time we moved up there. They never fell, it's perfect. It keeps them out of the way. You don't have a lot of drawers here, but you do have a lot of cabinet space. We, we brought everything with us. We brought, you know, food processor, blender, instant pot. Um, there's a lot of storage here. So under the stove storage, and let me show you under the sink here. So the, the pull out trash can will leave, we'll also leave the drainer and such like that because it's just perfect when you're moving all the time. And then you also get this glorious pantry, which is really nice when you're full timing nice and big we were able to put 40 pounds of dog food on the bottom no problem and we just stacked stacked our containers in there nicely so it was perfect this is a full-size residential fridge works great uh on gas or electric uh you just can leave it on gas and electric and it'll automatically switch when you're moving to keep your stuff cold it's super clean there's, there's no flaws to it. Everything is just very OCD cleaned. <laughs> I'm kind of big about that. So um, you'll find it's all in perfect working order. There's no broken parts, uh, nothing messed up. So it's been a great fridge. It was really nice to have all the space while we were on the road, keep all our regular foods that we liked. I mean, we weren't able to put like a whole cow or something in the freezer, but you know. So over here was one of the renos we did. There used to be two recliners right here because we were homeschooling on the road. I really just wanted some additional like storage space for some of our homeschool supplies. We actually ended up switching it over and it became like our bedding, extra bedding storage. We liked it better for that. But there's this great window bench, uh, super comfy when we would watch TV and stuff in the living room, that's where we would kind of, one of us would kind of hang out in that area too. So, and once again, this is a shelf that is mounted on the wall. It's just a really great, awesome shelf that I found in Emmett, Idaho. That will be staying. We're not gonna take off any shelving that's mounted. So the TV will not be included for sentimental reasons. Our youngest daughter scratched it with a bunch of rocks, and it's a really cute little story that maybe sometime I'll explain to all of you, but um, the TV just kind of goes with the family, so um, the TV will not be included, but there is a great mount on there. Um, it's not the greatest TV anyhow, so <laughs> it's not as new and nice as some of them that are out there. Fully working, 
fireplace. You have your bookshelf. I had way more books in here. I literally almost fit my whole library here. So you can fit a lot of books. There's great storage up above the TV area. And then here's the sofa area. So we brought in these, the, the rug, the ottomans, and they're storage ottomans, so they're empty inside. And the sofa will all be included in the sale of the Voltage. It is a custom made interior defined sofa. So uh, rather expensive. It has um, great comfort and it also, you take off those two back pillows, put a tw some twin bedding on it. It's great as a spare sleeping space for somebody. So we liked the Ottomans because, and I'll, I'll show in a picture later, we would just pull those out a little bit and we have a table that is stuck back behind the sofa. We pull out and all of us can sit around the table and eat dinner. Um, we have the two Ottomans as chairs on the other side and then two people sit on the sofa. So it gives us a great space for living and eating. I am going to leave the beautiful hanging basket because it's so pretty there. Um, I'll take my philodendron with me, but the basket itself I will leave because it has a great hook and it's just the perfect height. So um, great spot for a plant. Oh, one thing I forgot over here in the kitchen area up there, up above is a loft area. We used it as a storage loft and we have a, a telescoping ladder we have up there. So um, that will be included as well to make life easy. So we've also, oh, let me mention as well. So in behind the, our sheer curtains, which we like to let light filter in, we also have room darkening blinds that pull down and uh, they are cord free. So they just go up and down with just a light touch. So that's really nice on hot days when you need your air conditioner to work really great. Um, it just hides everything out. And then we upgraded these blinds in the hallway here to the main living area. Also, we had custom made tread carpet made for these steps. What came with it were was pretty shoddy, so um, we upgraded that. Let me show you in here. So you have your fuse box down here. There are extra fuses included. We also have included the paint that we have in the Voltage, so you will know exactly um, the paint that was used, and if you need to buy any more or you have little oopses, you definitely can utilize that and do any touch-ups that are needed. So once again, an upgraded door that had a glass panel. Why they put glass panels in bedroom doors? I don't know, but they did. So we uh, changed that one out to do a solid panel door. So this is was originally the front, you know, like master bedroom that we converted into a bunk room for our girls. So if you're traveling with kids, this is a great place. Um, we took off, once again, glass panel closet doors and hung this, this curtain here, custom made for that spot. And then we have um, the Betty's bunk bed covers on here. Um, and we've, we've done these in kind of a mint color with some peach accents. If, if you have two girls, those are negotiable. Um, I'm happy to sell them because they just work so great. All the colors work so great. So just let me know if you're interested in those and you know, that's fine. They're, they're practically brand new. So also we found the perfect baskets from the container store that go right under the slide. So it's great for toys, Legos, um, homeschool supplies, whatever you might need in there and so then this is the closet if you want to like so you can see it's a nice size closet back in here with storage and shoe storage in there as well um, I do just want to point out there was a, a water bottle that was tipped over up here so we have a little bit of swelling right here but just wanted to let you know what happened up there you see that okay closet Great closet space. I can't even begin to tell you how much we fit in that closet. So <laughs> it's a lot. Um, in here, you will find the hoses for the central vac system. Yes, a fifth wheel with a central vac system. I have, I at the first thought it was ridiculous, but I cannot even tell you almost on a daily basis that thing gets pulled out. It's phenomenal. Um, this hall and closet doorknob, it's in case you want to change out this doorknob to match all the others. 
I have never gotten around to it. You're welcome to it. We're including it. This is set up to add a washer and dryer. So you can just take out that, that bottom drawer or the, the shelving. We preferred having it as a closet and using a laundry mat. So that was our preference. You'll also find a couple places around the RV that have the um, USB outlets. So this, the all, of course, all of the window coverings will be included and you'll even find some fancy fairy lights behind these ones that our girls are leaving. The you are loved sign is staying because I put it on the wall and it's just kind of, once again, one of those things that just looks great there. So we just don't want to leave anything undone when we, we find something that works so well. So the bathroom, <laughs> this was a major selling point for us. This bathroom is just, it's big. It's big, definitely for a fifth wheel. Um, we didn't feel like we were too cramped in here. And we did some upgrades in here. Did some wallpaper along this one wall behind the mirror. We did an upgraded mirror and um, changed out the bowl and the faucet. And then let's see what else. Oh, over here, I added in this little rack we i had hair products and stuff that i just would set up in there it was just a handy spot to have them so um but it's such a cute rack that we're leaving that in here and then over here on this corner you have plenty of places to add hooks if you'd like for towels uh there's also the toilet paper thing we added so see here is the shower full size tub and shower this is a step down into so it is a full tub excellent i mean we have loved the heck out of having a full residential tub and shower uh it's definitely one of the things i think you know a lot of people would miss on the road is being in you know that and it has the skylight too above the shower and then these walls were professionally painted behind the shower in the teal color so and the shower curtain will be included as well as the shower curtain liner um, I do want to state, let's see, is there anything else I've forgotten? Um, that we absolutely have like gone through this. This is move in ready. It has been fully detailed inside. Everything is clean, scrubbed. It, it is ready. I mean, you can literally put your stuff in and take off. There's nothing in here that doesn't work. There's, there's nothing that's broken or needs repairs. The only thing we've had to do is the water heater needed a new element. Um, one of the first few weeks we're on the road and that's already been taken care of. So other than that, this thing is in perfect working order. It has served our family well. We have um, thoroughly enjoyed living in here for the last few months. Um, this journey was supposed to last the rest of this year and next year, but some changes have come to our family. So when we did the renovations on this, this was going to be our home for the foreseeable future. So this has a lot of love TLC. We have treated this as our own, as a home. So, you know, we hope that, that you would find as, as you tour through it, that you see a lot of that in how we've cared for it. Um, so anyhow, if you have any questions, please message me. Happy to answer anything you might have. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I've, uh, I'm gonna include a video of the outside, but um, once again, this is our, our shining place back here. I can't even begin to tell you how nice it is to step back into a bedroom that has that full screen and, and just be able to relax in some cool air. Anyhow, thank you guys for watching.